Eagle Eye Football here with Ali from Pride of South London. Thanks for taking the time to speak to us. Yeah, it's good to connect some Palace channels together and, and get the community yeah, going. Yeah, the message is on. Unbelievable result. But more so yeah. than number eight right. performance. What's that for you? Yeah. It's just unbelievable. I mean, I've just been on the front TV where I had to be a little bit annoyed. It was just brilliant, wasn't it? They were so quiet. They, kept, they were quite hyped up for 10 minutes and we just silenced them. I was saying on, on a minute ago um, on Arsenal Man TV, do you think Vieira has switched where we, sh- where we sh- uh, shoot towards in the first half? Because we did that against Everton and the intensity when we start in front of the homestead, in front of the Fanatics, I feel like Spur and on. I mean, the game was done by half time. Yeah, you know, I, it's, it's a funny one because. I don't know whether it's the opposition's winning it and switching to get like nine games or something. Yeah. We always were so used to going towards the second half. But either way, the intensity and the performances don't yeah. stop to the whole thing. Yeah. Um, thoughts on Mateta today? The Mateta's in the room, Serena is back there, and Jim Philly Mateta. Listen, I don't, what is Mateta like? I can't work him out. Like the beginning of the year, we were like, who is this guy? He's got to go. He's so unorthodox. That's what I love about him. And I think he fits in Wilf's unorthodox. You know what? At least say he's unorthodox. How do you read those three? He didn't even, he didn't even release say today, did we? Eze didn't even come off the bench. What's on Eze, actually? That's a good point. Mad. It's mad when you think about it, isn't it? But um, that's just testament to how well we played today. You know? I thought Jordan Knight had a very good game as well. Very, very good game. Um, apart from our press standing it's our control of the game okay? you think you've made this place a fortress yeah. what, what do you think is a key element of that aspect I think Conor Gallagher is so good at the way he presses I mean I was just saying on there as well like I've got to say it right back again not in there it's in Jacket in the centre of the not in um, been a half for years and not really done it and I think Gallagher dominated the middle today and, and that was key for us and it's been key for us all season he's just almost played too well <laughs> you know, and as uh, you think ahead to Wembley, it's a bit of a concern that he's not going to be there. It is, hopefully, obviously, um, as he slips in there. Um, I think the bigger concern is probably when he's able to keep him next season because as much as Chelsea may win him back, he's got to think, will he get minutes there? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to read Chelsea's situation at the moment, isn't it? So yeah, I think that's a hard one to guess right now. Um, I hope that, I think the only thing that can go in our favour is the World Cup in December. Uh, it could be key. You know, players aren't going to want to risk that right now. So that could play into our favour. But the noise is that coming out of Chelsea is that Thomas Ducal quite likes him. But it's an unstable situation in Chelsea. It's very, very hard to read that situation at the moment. Absolutely. Who's your man in the match? Maybe, really. So many. <laughs> oh, put me on the spot there. Um, I'm. Do you know what? I'm going to go Will. Just based on the fact that the man is a miracle. Like, you know, the injuries. And that's his, his double figures again. Um, and he gets written off so much, doesn't he? Like, uh, it's unbelievable. He's probably, for me, one of the most underrated players in Premier League history. Uh, the stick he gets. And the end product tag that was given to him at the beginning of his career is just all gone. I mean, the. I, done a video on mine called so hard uh, the truth behind the stats and um, you look at the stats that's now the third and fourth season he's got double figures and before that you got to think he's playing in a royal team that we're averaging under 40% possession um, so for me it's incredible what he's done um, but there's so many tonight Gallagher like I said um, special mention for Jordan Knight stepping in without the least say and I have to say as well Anderson's pass for some of the goal unbelievable I think him and Gahey are probably the best central event sponsor in my time as a Palace. I'm sort of post 1990. So. Well, I thought it would be quite disagreeing with it yeah. too. And he'd be absolutely pleasure. Yeah, it's well. really nice to meet you. Great terms. Good luck with the channel. Appreciate it. Uh, we got Super Pat Vieira. <laughs> he knows exactly what we need. Mitchell at the back didn't even need a least side attack. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>